Hey yo, welcome back to Fly to 50. I'm your fly dog D and I'm back with another video. And y'all, I am going to be playing with my newly purchased, see, my newly purchased Mothership 11 and the Pat McGrath new eyeshadow primer. Okay, y'all, so we're going to go ahead and get started on this. I've already recorded a few videos, but um, I don't know when they're going to be coming out. But I've already done my face. I've already done everything except my eyes, and I'm ready to dig into this palette. Uh, I know you've seen it already. It's been out a while. I'm just now getting to it. But, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to look at the eyeshadow primer. And, y'all. I forgot to tell you, I'm out of contact, so this is going to be a bit awkward. Hopefully, I'll keep my angles good, and I'll keep this in focus so you can see what I'm doing. All right, first, let's look at the primer. Comes with, in her standard, like, paper boxes that her foundations and stuff come in. This is, wow, this is sturdier than I thought it would be. But it's called the Pat McGrath Last Intensify Eyes Long Wear Primer. It kind of looks like a, a mascara to me though. So let's go ahead and it's a standard looking applicator. Now on my eyes, I've already used my trusty, always used Urban Decay anti-aging primer I always put that on first but now we're going to go ahead and apply this it's like a nudie color but I don't know how it dries down we'll see so grab my mirror here it says apply thin layer to the eyelids before applying shadow for 24 hour crease proof wear okay it has a 12 month shelf life and you got 5 milliliters or oh, it's 0.16 fluid ounces of product. It says it's clear and made in the USA of A with imported ingredients. It definitely took off my concealer that I had under this. Let me see. What am I looking for? Look at how my eyes look. Maybe I didn't have to set it, or maybe ooh, I put too much on. I don't know, but it looks kind of weird. Next time, I won't put so much on. All right, now glasses on. Let's dig into this palette. Okay, this is Mothership 11 Sunlit Seduction. I know you done heard all the pros and cons of this. I'm just going to do an eyeshadow look because I love it. Okay, comes with the card as usual. The standard hard packaging the back. Right, let's open her up. And there are the colors. I think it's pretty. And the shimmers and astral shades, metallics or whatever they're called, remind me of what's in the Mothership 10 that I really like. So I'm not the norm that loves those Astro Blitz shades. They're nice, but they're not my favorite. The metallics are, which is why Mothership 4, or is it 3? This one is my favorite. All right, let's get started. What I am you see is what you get. I'm gonna try my best, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna start with, I'll put the colors up in here. Alright, we're starting with Sienna Mystique. It seems like it's almost darker on my lid than it is in the pan. 
you know it's not like it's said about the formula because it's going it can it can probably blend itself as I hear so many people saying. Right above that, I'm going to go in with nude rose just to make sure the edges are good and blend it. In the outer V, I'm going to go in with uh, Extreme Vermilion Dusk. Hopefully, this builds up like that first shape. Did. Yeah. Sorry y'all, I legit I'm trying to stay in focus and still see in the mirror. Yeah, I don't have nothing to say except I like this eyeshadow palette. If you want to hear opinions about it, I guess you just gotta go somewhere else because I had a business. It failed after six months. This woman got a billion dollar business. Who am I? Who am I to say, hey? Listen to me, I know. Nope. That I will not do. Hers is a billion dollar business. She know what she doing. So, don't ask me. All right, now I'm going to go in. Mm. I'm just going to use the red little metallics. Sorry if that's boring, but I do not want to ugly it on my face. So. And I got to go somewhere later. So maybe one day I will do it for y'all. But today ain't that day. Alright, then I'm going with that lighter metallic in the in the inner corner. That lighter metallic. Oh, this is looking good. Y'all know I can't see. I can't see it. the spots I miss so I'm gonna just take it on my finger okay that's the lid now I'm gonna go to my bottom lash line way off this vermilion the first shade So look. And I'll be right back with my eyelashes done. Not my, I'm not putting on eyelashes, but I'll be back with my mascara and my eyeliner to show you how this look all came together. About this primer, this this balm primer. Remember, I put it on my hand, and it did dry down. So it dried down. So you, but look how it looks. It's not smoothed out. So you got to be careful to actually smooth out the primer before putting your eyeshadow on, because it's not going. To, I didn't set this on my hand. It's still there. Well. That hard rub kind of took some away, but you can still see it right there. So I would advise putting on a thin layer, like they said, and blending it out. And I think that's why it looked like it did on my eyelid, because I had powder, I had other things on there, and it just clumped up a little bit. So you just got to be careful. 
and make sure you blend it out all the way. All right, y'all, I am back with my finished look. I uh, finished it up with, um, I just put on the black coffee liner and some black mascara. And I said and, put, and touched up my lipstick and this is my finished look. I think it looks pretty. I love these colors. I mean, what can what can you say? It's Pat McGrath. It's really good. If you don't like the repeats, repeat themes, then you probably shouldn't buy it. But if you are, um, if you like her quality, it is still there and it's really good. And I personally like it. So I'm glad I have it. So yeah, y'all, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in another one.